and I could rant forever on delusions of grandeur. I think our drug problem is as such. I think people turn to drugs uh, to try to experience that. <laughs> I think we tell people to dream, but the reality is, is we uh, the only way they can actually fill those dreams is through drugs, through substance abuse. That's why it's so rampant. That's why you see a lot of these delusions with somebody on substance abuse. Uh, somebody who's addicted to alcohol, all these drugs, they have these delusions that they can't obtain in the life. And so they turn to drugs, which um, change, their, change, you know, change their brain chemistry so that they can experience those, those highs of living this or that life. And, and the, the real sad part is, is that life that they're dreaming of isn't, isn't what they're thinking, you know? Um, somebody who's wealthy, uh, sure, they don't have to worry about some of the needs that they are currently worrying about, but there's other things that they have to deal with that you don't have to deal with as somebody that's unknown, someone that doesn't have to deal with uh, fame. Uh, fame is, is a terrible thing, you know? I think it destroys people's lives left and right. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but unfortunately we have to have people that, um, you know, we have to vote for people, we have to do this and that for people, so people become famous because they become well known for this or that, and it's just kind of a part of, part of our existence, but I feel bad for those people, I mean, they... I think they lead the most lonely lives of all, uh, out of all of us. You think that they have a lot of friends, but it's not, it's not real. Um, fame is a, is a lie like that. When you become famous, you don't have any friends, in fact. The only friends really are your family. Um, everybody else is a lie. You know, when you become famous, um, you lose trust for everybody else. Just out of, I mean, and if you think that you don't you you just do um you can't really trust anybody to have good intentions when they know everything about you or when you lose all of your privacy you know they you become this uh this idol to them this thing that they've imagined in their head and they will do anything to you know be a part of that or whatever you know what i'm saying those delusions of grandeur take over and then you have a bunch of mental mental patients uh, or drug-induced patients or normal people that just want to break free of the, um, you know, of the mediocrity and they become obsessed with you and then you have a lot of mental disease coming your way, which is a, which is a terrible thing and I wish, I, people don't pay attention to this, but like, we don't, we don't tout this in, uh, in the tabloids or anything like that, like how much pain these people have to go through, I mean, uh, there's a reason why most of these people are on antidepressants, you know. Most of these famous people have to deal with that because they're so lonely and they're so um, depressed because uh, they don't have anybody to talk to, really, that isn't just, you know, a yes person or a uh, just in it to grab a piece of something that they're not, you know. Because these people are still human. Um, they're just well-known. And uh, people imagine all sorts of crazy stuff in their heads about who these people are. Um, like, like for instance, like I mean, I don't really care about any celebrity, really. Um, I like, I like this girl and how she sings, Marina uh, Diamandis, or Marina and the Diamonds. But, but she's still a human, you know. <laughs> like. So many people think she's a god or whatever, or goddess or whatever, you know. And that's how it is with everybody, you know. They'll they'll do all of these things just to meet this one person. Like, they're still human. Uh, you're just meeting the idea. You've built up this idea in your head. You've made this grandiose thought that you've turned into something to worship. Not necessarily because it's real life. And so you meet this person and you see them in your, you know, these star-studded eyes, right? Where you just see this idol, this this idol of worship, you know? And you just, like, you just bow before it, pretty much. Even if you're not doing it physically, you're doing it in your mind. And you don't see anything bad about it. You see all the good. And then um, 
that that's where you hear a lot of stories where a lot of these stars will get into trouble and like get pissed at somebody right and there'll be like a lawsuit because they'll get mad at at this attention and people like get all offended because their god has like hurt them <laughs> and then they decide to sue because they think this person has money and they shouldn't have all that money and it's not fair for them to have money and then they start hating that person and loathing that person it's a terrible position i really wouldn't wish fame on anybody i think it's absolutely horrendous um it's like the scariest thing in the world um i would yeah uh you know you think of robin williams as and how famous he was and he was extremely depressed as a lot of comedians are but he was extremely depressed and i think i think he felt alone uh in the world even with family and it's sad because he had family and that wasn't enough for him to to stick around but i i just sit there and um you know i bet michael jackson was the same way i mean Pretty much any of them. Uh, what a what a lonely existence. If you want to be alone in the world, just become famous. I'll tell you what. You uh, you'll have a lot of friends, but you won't have any true friends. And even if and even if you do, or even if you come across one, you can't trust it, which is terrible. You want to trust. Fr friendship is built on trust. And when you're famous and people know you. There's no more trust there. You can't have a normal relationship with somebody. You can't be romantic with somebody for real. On a deep level. When everybody knows who you are. You know, or when they find out who you are, people tend to change. Just changes your mentality. You know. And it goes to people's heads. And that's the problem with, with these delusions. That's the problem with superheroes. That's the problem with really pushing this. I mean, that's why they're so popular. I mean, people want an escape, right? But the problem is, is that escape is, is, uh, is not helping the depression um, so much. I don't think. I mean, I think it might help initially. It might give you that high for a moment, like you're going to escape. But in reality, it's just like any other drug. And when you come down from that drug, you're at a low, you're at a low bottom that you can't escape from without another one. So you take another hit. You go watch another superhero movie. You go get a comic. You go play a video game where they win in the end every time. You know? And people generally don't like sad ending movies, right? Movies that end with a... like. A sad ending, you know, where somebody dies or where everybody dies. People don't like those movies. They're attached, like I am. I'm attached to, to the romantic idea of redemption, of good. We're just programmed that way. And, uh, you know, people get let down when it turns out bad. It's too close to the chest. It's too close to their real life. They get enough of real life in their life <laughs> they want an escape but I believe that escape is doing us more harm than good unfortunately I feel we need to face our real life head on we need to face the depression head on we need to face the failures head on we need to overcome them not just cover them up that's the issue that's where our world is just cover everything up. Just put dirt over it. It'll go away. It's not there. It's not buried six feet under. It's not going to haunt you at night. That's what we tell ourselves. But it does. You have those dreams. Those dreams are just there relentlessly. Not the good kind of dreams. The nightmares. The stuff that's really inside of you. The stuff that you're scared to death about maybe you're trying to confront abuse or rape or a sexual abuse when you were young or you know abusive parents neglectful parents drug addict parents whatever you're trying to cover you know it's not going to go away just by just by covering it up
drinking drugs superhero movies you gotta confront it for real head on